Now, the flip side, though, as you, even you talk about the moonshots, you talk about the AI, you know, kind of pump and dump, but mm-hmm. you're also giving credit to AI, too. You think there's actually going to be, you know, it's, it's going to be very good uh, for the market, maybe in advances in technology and ways for companies to do things to make their lives better, right? To make their their kind of companies more efficient. So talk about yeah. kind of how you feel about AI and how you're actually positioning yourself there You when, when you look at a company or look for those opportunities. Yeah, I think on the AI side, I think it it will be another lag kind of in this multi-cycle, um, you know, computer kind of infrastructure um, cycles that we've had. So we had like kind of the mainframe, then the personal computer, and then mobile, then cloud, and, and now kind of AI. And so I think AI will be more uh, from a corporate spending perspective around it, continuing what a lot of um, you know, what a lot of work has gone in, in probably like the last 10 years around productivity improvements. So moving from like Excel to like smart sheets and moving kind of like, you know, towards like data IQ, data ingestion, all those sort of things to make, um, daily corporate lives more effective and, and, you know, more efficient. Yeah. And I think that just continues with AI. You're just going to have AI continue to push and make, you know, uh, corporate lives uh, more efficient um, mm-hmm. and more effective and, you know, less data intensive and then probably utilizing data more, right? So you're going right. to utilize, that's what really what AI is, is going to allow is for corporations to use data more to make decisions or, you know, um, you know, all sorts of different things. Right. Uh, and then I think there's probably some applications that we can't even really uh, fathom yet that will come out of AI that will really push things. But I did, I, I do think that probably without the AI kind of like coming in, we we may have seen a recession kind of like in the end of the year. But mm-hmm. I think there's a lot of, when you have like these big swings come in, a, a big new, um, you know, you know, big new technologies and things like that, I feel like corporate, uh, you know, corporate decision makers can kind of get a little bit afraid that, oh, no, we got to figure this out, you know, right? figure out what we need to do. We don't want to lose our business. Like, so let's go spend some money here or we'll spend on some some consultants or we'll like start a team around AI. And, you know, you've seen all these, you know, press releases and, you know, almost every earnings report that you read has something about how this, com- you know, XYZ company is starting an AI initiative for this specific product. <laughs> right. So like that, you know, that does come through to spending on things like consultants and, you know, data. And I think a right. lot of the near term impacts will be kind of like in a lot of the software infrastructure companies where, you know, where really they are. Um, you know, they are dependent on how much data is out there and data is used and how much compute people use. Um, so I think those will, we'll see kind of an upside over the next, you know, call it 12 months, but then, you know, I, I don't really know how it's going to play out over the next, you know, 10 years, but it's definitely something that I think will be a focus kind of like cloud is kind of still going to be a big spending, um, you know, line item for many companies, but I think AI will kind of creep up over the next three, four years. Yeah, I kind of agree. And I was actually talking to a company this morning that I own and um, we, were, we were chatting and he was, you know, what's his what can you do to keep on, you know, to jumpstart growth or to not only help themselves be more efficient, but also get more customers. And it all, it came, it did revolve, it came back to IR, AI again. Yeah. You know, it like, you know, what can we do for our organization to make our, our, you know, our structure more efficient and what can we offer our clients from AI's perspective? I mean, they're not an AI company, but they're, they're just trying to understand how to make it work um, w- um, to move forward. So I think you're actually right in the, right in the, uh, spot yeah, I, I think too, it's, there, there's a lot of things that have been gone on in automation too, um, over the last like five or six years. Um, I used to be an investor in Cognex, like, like a long time ago, they do like okay. some of the vision stuff, but, um, uh, but yeah, I think the, on the automation side tied with the AI where you can kind of, uh, I think a lot of that will come through even on the industrial side a little bit. Um, you know, kind of like five years down the line, um, you'll start to see, you know, more automation uh, coming in to, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of industrial companies that could, you know, really reduce costs and things like that, improve margins. Um, you know, what I think what's, what's funny though, is that, I mean, AI is getting all the rage now, but there's been companies that you you, you would call what they've been doing for years already AI, you yeah, know, exactly. t- 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 taking the data and doing things with it and understanding how to, you know, uh, how yeah, to process I mean, it. 
is, yeah. is really AI. I mean, um, yeah, it's just exactly. now it's maybe like it's more of a consumer. I mean, it, the consumer sees it now as a product. So now that's how we can. Yeah, I mean, I think bit. that's kind of what ChatGPT did. It kind of like proved out, hey, AI actually is a, a viable product for the consumer. And that kind of like jump started everything. Right. Right. Was, oh, wow. You can actually use this for something, you know, real that actually, you know, has pretty big upside. You know, I've used it. I've played around with it. You can do all yeah. sorts um, things to improve your productivity and, and stuff like that. So I think that just kind of like got in the, you know, got into everyone's head and and especially corporate leaders and things right. like that. They're, they're probably worried about their, I know, like I've heard where they've shut off chat GPT, a lot of companies. <laughs> really? They're like, we're, yeah, I don't know if they're worried about That's people just... doing their job too efficiently. I don't know, but, or, yeah. you know, like they, I, but it's, 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 it's funny, John, because I have a, I have a, you know, I have an outsource marketing uh, once in a while uh, I use, and I'm like, all right, I guess I gave him, I gave him a task, you know, to do something like, wait a second, this is, this sounds like it's, it's like, it's, it's good, you know, uh, <laughs> but I know you didn't write it. <laughs> so for a second, I was like a little upset, right? And I'm like, you know uh, what? Fine. You're doing it. You're doing a better job now, probably more efficient, man. Right. And, yeah. uh, I didn't, I didn't call her out on it. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, because I want to see how, how how well it goes. And then there's also even with my staff. I remember like a few days ago we're talking about we're on, we're on a, we're on a like a Viber call, uh -huh. and uh, we're all talking and we're just, we're just having a strategy session trying to understand how to do something. I'm like, you know what? Let's ask Chat GPT. We've been yeah. here ten, ten minutes going back and forth, right? You know? you just... And, it, and it, it was it was actually you know it made sense. So right. it's already helping me be more productive around my staff. And we're trying to we when we're in these kind of like bottlenecks about maybe strategy and marketing, these kind of things to help market geo investing. Yeah. Um, and it was, or if I'm writing an article and I reached a report in a company, you know, I, I used to go, you know, I, I'll use chat GBT now to get me, you know, a little bit of information on that and um, to understand something. I, I think it's really helped me. Uh, I mean, Google's great, but yeah. chat just, just does it differently. I mean, you get, it's, it's more engaging. It's, it's much more targeted. Yeah. Think, you think yeah, more critically Google, a little bit. I think, it's sometimes I search Google now and it's like not even what I'm looking for. Yeah, what was I doing? It seems to be like, I don't know that they, I don't know how much they care anymore. Um, they're just, they're just, you know, counting their, their right. ads, ad dollars. But, um, but yeah, chat GPT, I've even used it for things like uh, my son was like the MC of this little uh, talent show that they had. He's like in, in fourth grade and he had to like, you know, do some intros for, it was like intro for, guy playing the piano and we were like, oh, what are we going to say? Like, we were like, chat GPT, write a small intro for a guy playing the piano. And it was like, it was like reasonable. It was right. you know, not okay. So yeah, it's like, it's just, it's quick, it's easy. And you know, it's, it's, it's like 95% there.